Hey guys, good morning. What's up everybody and welcome back to House of a Warrior. My name is Lorraine Adoyo and guys it is finally the day. I'm so sorry for the wind. It is finally the day I'm going to take care of this tooth. Finally getting it out and see if my life can get back to normal. I was supposed to be out of the house at 8 but I woke up at 8 guys and I took Probably what was the quickest shower ever. It was quicker than the ones we take in high school. I took the quickest shower ever and I'm out of the house by 8.30. But my appointment is at 10 and I still have traffic to deal with you guys. I wore sandals um, because after that I want to go try and do my nails. I want to... <laughs> test the level of pain that I will be in and see if I can still go ahead and do my nails or, st or come straight home. But anyway guys, wish me luck. Hopefully I'm not late. Hopefully I'm not in so much pain. Gosh, I'm panting. But anyway, let's see if I can get to the stage and get a vehicle to town. Okay guys, I will talk to you in the next clip. hey guys okay so i'm finally done with the extraction so there's my face a bit of swelling but also there was like some gauze or stuff in my mouth and on at this point i was just at the pharmacy <laughs> waiting for my medication and if you've been to knh you know how crazy long the lines are and my anesthesia was supposed to last me two hours but i had already been here for at least half an hour or so and i was already so irritated by everyone making so much noise and everyone taking so freaking long at the counter and i was already feeling some type of pain and so here i am in town i went straight to town so that i can get into a restaurant and um take some pain meds i was trying to get rid of the gauze that is in my mouth and i didn't know how many there were in there that's why i kept opening my mouth for my partner to see if i had left any but um that is what is going on <laughs> Over here, you guys, um, I kept bleeding into my mouth. Uh, I kept tasting blood the whole entire day and it was not the prettiest thing ever. But yeah, finally, I finally got my Cipladon. Um, You guys know how much I love Cipladon and it's really, really, really good for pain as well. And I kept looking at myself to make sure I don't look as horrible as I felt. <laughs> but yeah, um, finally they got me a cup with some water and it was time to put in my Cipladon, which is now what I am just waiting for. You guys, the drinking was horrific. On one side of my mouth, um, one side of my mouth is basically weak because of the Bell's palsy. And now on the other side, I had a tooth extraction on the same day. And so drinking this medication was terrible. It was really, really hard. If I thought drinking with Bell's palsy alone was hard, this was the worst part of that day. But I soldiered on. I tried my best because I did not want to be in any pain at all um, my mouth was still bleeding you guys i'm sorry i do not know how to blur that but um you guys didn't see anything anyway so i was still bleeding um but i had to move forward i had to forge onwards and just conquer this day no matter how hard it was uh, finally some food came um i ordered something really soft and this is mashed bananas and uh, um some soup some vegetables and fish 
um i really i recorded myself eating but it was rather messy um because it was really really uncomfortable for me i tried i ate a little bit there were two of us this was a meal for two people so um the other person ended up having a really really good lunch <laughs> yeah so um i didn't think i could show you guys how messy it was when i was eating and that's why i will not even try and embarrass myself like that on this day but anyway onwards with the vlog hey guys um i'm back home but we'll talk tomorrow i can't explain how i'm feeling it's not pain but it's not good either you know i feel like my anesthesia is wearing off um but the painkiller i took earlier in town um should be in effect if not i'll just take another one because it's some it's evening already um so yeah <laughs> you guys tomorrow <sighs> hey guys good morning um it's been like today's sunday uh, i had my extraction on wednesday um <laughs> i'm doing much better um the tooth is not painful at all everything has healed properly um so yeah i'm back i finally have the energy and the motivation i haven't felt like picking up this camera or doing anything or no motivation no energy but yeah i am slowly getting back to my normal self i'm feeling a bit better today and um yeah so i'm back and uh i just wanted to come back and say you guys i know you have been praying for me i know um it's been a long year already for me like january was tough january was a really really tough because i kept um being sick um with sickle cell and uh, february um january ended on a bad note because on january 31st is when i got diagnosed with bell palsy so february also started really crappy and then there was the whole tooth extraction and at least now i can see you know some light at the end of the tunnel you know um i am just going to move forward with the life from now on you know it doesn't matter what i look like i'm gonna try and wear a mask as often as i can when i'm outside in public because people just look at me weird you know and um maybe people are not looking at me weird maybe i'm the one who's telling myself that but um just so that i can be a bit more comfortable and a bit more relaxed when i'm having a conversation with someone i'm just gonna you know try and cover this shenanigan up <laughs> but anyway you guys um i'm planning on moving out um of this current house that i'm in um so tomorrow i start vigorous house hunting i have been house hunting i've looked at a few houses um so tomorrow i start looking actively because i'm supposed to move out at the end of february i am thinking of moving back to nairobi i have been on the outskirts of nairobi i have been in kajiado county um so i'm thinking of moving closer to my people closer to family closer to my sister vera closer to uh, my friends closer to the cbd <laughs> um so yeah tomorrow i'm gonna go out there and see um what houses are available you know and then that's it you know um i just wanted to come back and end the video <laughs> um end the video i haven't edited any of um the clips before so i don't even know how 
uh, this video looks like but um, if this is the end then this is the end so I'm gonna say thank you so much for watching um, please keep um, telling a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend to check us out and let's fill this house up you guys one thing that I'm gonna leave you with is as I close this chapter of tooth ick and tooth extraction and mouth hygiene generally is just observe it observe your mouth hygiene to the t yeah not that i didn't but i didn't do a good enough job i did not do a good enough job and thankfully my kids are still young they're still you know um Alani hasn't even removed her first tooth yet, so Imari has already started that process and I want the tooth that are coming in to now be his permanent tooth, that's the tooth that are going to be his permanent tooth to be, you know, the best version of himself. I have, I want him to adopt a really good um, oral hygiene and um, for us, the whole of us as a family, you know, um, no more tooth decay in this house. Um, it might not have been what cost my bell's palsy, but it could have been worse, you know. Um, so just avoid sweets if you can. <laughs> avoid sugar. Th those are my weaknesses. I don't know how I'm going to do, but I'm going to try my best to do the best as I can the best i can especially where my kids are concerned i never never ever want them to go through a painful tooth in their life let let them do it to themselves when they're adults but i'm hoping by then i will have instilled you know um some good foundation in them um where oral hygiene is concerned but anyway you guys take care of yourself and i will see you guys in the next video okay bye